Hey, good morning. Welcome back again. Okay, we're Saturday. We're July. Okay, July 2021. Okay, let's get into the tax auctions. Let's get some detailed information about tax auctions. Okay, now remember, there's three types of auctions. Okay, basically, there's three types of auction, the majority of them. Number one is live auction. Number two is online auction. And number three is a mail-in, okay, sealed auction, okay? Number one, live auction, okay? Live auction, basically what it mean is that you're gonna be going down to a location. Could be a courthouse, could be a hotel, it could be a commissioner's chamber, or it could be at the city hall could be any location that the county chooses to have the live auction, okay? Now, very important on live auction, you've gotta know what the rules are of the auction. And the reason I point this out to you is, let me give you an example. In the county or the state of Kentucky, they have all their auctions in person, okay? Live auction in person. But if you want to bid, you have to register two weeks before. Two weeks before. You're gonna send in all your proper documents two weeks before, and you have to send in your money to them ahead of time, and you have to send in which properties you plan on bidding on in the state of Kentucky. All in person, but you have to do all that stuff before, okay? Next one, state of, uh, I think it was Tennessee or, or Tennessee or, um, yeah, state of Tennessee, okay? Louisiana too, okay? Many times you're gonna have to be bidding on the properties and they're gonna want you to register. So they're gonna want you to send in your information ahead of time, and they're gonna want a copy of your driver's license ahead of time, okay? Live auction, okay? And remember too, many times that you're gonna have to have your cashier's check with you right there at the auction. Because sometimes they may not give you to the end of the day to pay, that they may wanna have it in 10 minutes or 20 minutes, they want the money quick in a live auction. So you gotta know that. All right, let's get into the online auction, okay? Online auction is basically you're bidding on the internet, okay? So you're registering on the site that the county is connected to. Now, some counties might be doing it themselves. Majority of them, they're basically outsourcing to a third party online service, okay? So give, give you an example, bid for assets, bid for assets. They do a lot of the tax sales in the state of California. Civic source, civic source. They do a lot of the auctions in the state of Louisiana, okay? SRI or a Zeus auction. They do a lot of auctions in the state of Indiana, okay? Um, the Grant Street Group or realauction.com, they do a lot of the states of Arizona, okay? You know, and so on. So what happens is that you have to register ahead of time, okay? A deadline, okay? So let me give an example. For bid for assets in California, okay? They do majority of the sales in the state of California is bid for assets, okay? You're gonna register on bid for assets, but, they're gonna want usually a $5,000 refundable deposit, but a $35 non-refundable fee that they're gonna require. And you're gonna have to do that about two weeks before the sale, okay? So you're gonna have to send in all your documents, all your money, and they will then approve you for the sale, okay? Then, when you are bidding, if you win, you have a timeline, a deadline that you have to send in the money if you won any of the tax deeds, okay? For bid for assets, okay? Um, 
in the state of Arizona, okay, which does a lot on realauction.com, okay, again, you're gonna have to register ahead of time, okay? And you are going to have to send in money to them also, and then they will allow you to, to bid. In Alabama, when we did the state of Alabama, okay, they wanted additional documents from you, your driver's license, and a bunch of other stuff that you had to fill out and send over to the county, and then the county would send it over to the third party um, to get you approved, okay? So, very important. You've got to know, okay, one, is the auction online? Is the auction in person or is it a sealed bid? Now, if it's a sealed bid one or a mail-in bid, it's exactly what it is. You're gonna fill out all your documents you're gonna send in your cashier's check, you're gonna tell them which property you wanna bid on and the amount, and you're gonna send in all your money, usually, okay? Sometimes you might have to send in only 10%, but that's the sealed bid, okay? So the county will get it in the mail, they will open your bid, and whoever whoever's the highest bid wins, okay? That's the sealed bid, all right? So I wanna give you a little bit more detailed information. Hope that helped you out a little bit three types of auctions the majority of the county has, but you've got to do your homework. There's so much more information on there, okay, that I'll try to do more videos later, but this gives you some more insight of these types of auctions and read the auction terms and conditions. <laughs> read them. All right, guys, hope you liked the video. If you do, please like us, please share the video, and remember, please subscribe to us too, okay? Um, trying to give you some education and everything. And uh, till next time, see you then.